Hello there and welcome back to my tutorial. Today I will show you how to create slide menu with swipe feature. So when I swipe right, we get this menu. When I swipe left, it goes back. And uh, we will do this with amazing blur effect. So let's get started. First, we need a wallpaper. So go ahead, go to Google and find some amazing wallpaper. Make sure it has good resolution so that it does not pixelate or something. And we will view this as iPhone X because why not? Why, iPhone X looks much more beautiful. And I'll zoom out a little bit. And first, uh, we need to add a gesture, which is pan gesture and on the view. Don't forget it. You need to do this part first. Now we need to add a, an image view, which will occupy full screen. So I'll drag till bottom. This will be full. And add constraint 0, 0, 0, and 0, and hit enter. Now I will add a normal view, scroll down, we need this one, I'll put it here to the safe area and we will say again 0 from top, 0 from left and 0 from bottom, so bam, and a fixed width of 175 and let's set the image to 1 and a spec fill and we need blur view as well, so let's say blur view goes on to on top of our uh, view we just added so click on the blur view while selected uh, control drag onto the first view and we will say center uh, while pressing shift say center horizontally center vertically equal width equal height and add constraints and and now we need to press command options equal so that it adjusts uh, adjust itself to the frame size of view so now so, uh, select the view and go to background and we will say clear color so that we can see this amazing effect, okay? Now we need two buttons. So button and one goes here. So let's give this button all the properties so that we can copy it later. So eight from top, let's do, yeah, uh, 10 from top and 10 from left and 10 from right and a fixed height of 40. Let's do 40 and hit enter. So let's set text color to white and increase the size and let it say home. And we need background color. So background color will be gray with 75% opacity and hit enter. I like to make amazing UIs, right? Uh, you know, right guys? So go back to this. I think it's uh, identity inspector under here. Just click add and where it says keypad, say corner with R capital radius and hit enter. Don't forget to hit enter, okay? Otherwise, it, it won't work. For type, you will say number and here we will say 15. So this is a, a like simple way of giving it corner radius. And while clicking the button, say command D so that we can duplicate this. Put it under our previous home button and we will say control, uh, okay. Keep your home button selected. Now we will say eight from top, eight from left, and eight from right as well. And hit add three constraints and it's done. And we will change the text to about us. And let's run the application for once and see how it looks. So iPhone X and run. So this is basically my previous application. So just wait a second. We will also give, uh, give that beautiful shadow thing which looks amazing. So loading, so it's here and it looks really good. So let's start coding. So basically, if we want to uh, like get the view, uh, to hide the view and show the view, basically we will temper with the leading constraints of our uh, main view so that we can push it in and push uh, bring it out. So let's open up our assistant editor and we will select the constraint which says leading so it will say we need this constraint basically this one make sure you select it right and control drag that constraint over here and we will say view constraint and hit enter and now we need outlets for let's say our blur view so this will be blur view and the view above the blur view Make sure it's above the blur view, okay? So this will be side view. And uh, so the view I meant is when you uh, 
toggle this arrow you see the blur view inside it okay so we are done with the outlets part let's hop over to view controller and give our view some attributes so that it looks good so first we will say blur view dot corner radius oh uh, layer dot corner radius equal to 15 uh, now we will say side view dot shadow color oh man I forgot layer layer dot shadow color where is shadow color this will be UI color dot black dot CG color and now we need side view no layer dot shadow opacity which will be one and side view dot layer dot shadow path and this will be of type CG size so CG size and we need width and height of double width will be five and height will be zero and I guess let's run the application and see how it looks so cannot assign the value of CG size oh let's change this to CG path I guess and this should work get rid of this part and command run oh argument with like we can do this again okay basically what we need is we need shadow offset sorry guys CD size and open brackets width will be 5 and height will be 0 and command R oh it's taking so much time so loading okay it looks good but ah the corner radius is not working so let's get it to work so let's try doing side view oh what we need to do is we forgot one thing uh, So select the blur view and go to this attribute inspector and say clips to bound. Let's try to run it again. This time it should work. Okay, it looks beautiful now, right? Isn't it? So now let's decrease this uh, shadow opacity to 0.8 okay cool anyways it works so let's first we need to hide our view so we will say view constraint dot constant is equal to if you remember our fixed width was 175 so here we will say minus 175 and if I run the application the view will not be there we will just see the image So we don't have the view now and first let's hop over to our storyboard because we forget to take the action method of our gesture so we need this assistant editor <sighs> come on it's really slow automatic select this gesture on the top and go below the view did load thing and control drag here and say pan performed and we will say it as action of type UI pan uh, gesture and hit connect. So we are done. No more storyboard. Promise. Okay, let's increase the size. Add some space because we are about to do magic. So it's gone. Add some space here. Okay. So uh, there are some states of pen gesture. So first we need to check if sender dot state is equal equal to dot begin or 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 sender dot state is equal equal to dot started I guess okay dot changed yep and open brackets else if sender dot state equal equal to dot ended okay and we will handle this part later so first start with sender dot state begin so here we will say first we need the translation the amount of change so we will say translation equal to sender 
dot translation and our view will be self dot view and uh, here translation will give us x and y value both but we only need the x value so we will say dot x and now we will check if the swiping was left or right so if we will say translation is greater than zero so basically if it's greater than zero it means that we are swiping right else and this is swipe right and this is swipe left okay so first handle swipe right here basically what uh, it's really simple uh, so we will say self dot view constraint dot constant plus equal to plus equal to translation okay and let's run the application and see how it looks there will be no animation or nothing but it should look good we will do the animation later on so basically if i drag it comes out okay it does come out but it went all the way to like on that side okay we don't want that so first we need a condition over here so just cut this part and say if view constraint dot constant is less than 20 okay we don't want it to be more than 20 and paste it over here and run the application once again and this time the view should not disappear so drag and it stays here okay beautiful beautiful we will handle other stuff later so it's good now first let's add some animation so we will say ui view dot animate with duration and duration will be 0 0.2 and animation will be enter here we will just paste the same thing again and here we need to say self dot view dot layout if needed okay don't forget to add this otherwise animation won't work so run again and let's see okay it looks better now so so it's working so basically uh, if you notice the translation uh, the view is coming out really fast so just add, uh, divide the translation by 10 so that it comes out smooth and slow so it's working now okay now let's handle the left swipe part so this was if this part and here is our swipe left part so here it's simple just copy this part and paste it here and make this if it's greater than minus 175 and let's run the application again and see how it looks what's happening over here okay what part of this so oh okay there is some problem over here this is this and we need one more i guess and let's run again and it's working it's working so swipe right comes out swipe left it goes back but now we need to fix it to the edge okay so now we will play the part in state ended so here we will check whether if view cons uh, constraint dot constant is if it's uh, less than minus 100 then we will just send it back okay so ui view just copy this part again i guess it's copied okay not copied just cut and just we need this view i view part so copy and paste it over here but this time we will say equal to minus 175 so just put it back if uh, the user has not swiped enough to get the uh, to pull out the side view okay and now if part is done we will do else part else it's already copied so i'll paste it here and this time we will say equal to zero so uh i have intentionally kept okay i don't want krita right now just turn off go back shoo okay ignore so this comes out so if you notice it comes out a bit more but if we release it sets it uh, set itself to the zero margin and if i left swipe it goes back again so if i pull out this much it goes back again i need to swipe the whole the whole way okay 
and it looks much more beautiful. So let's tamper with this status bar because I don't like this black thing. So let's just do a small thing. By the way, the, uh, the swiping thing is over. So I'll just do this prefer. Okay, I don't want that status. Prefer status bar style and I'll just say return uh, dot light content and run again. So it's white and it looks much more good and our menu is also working. So guys, that's how you create a side menu with swipe feature. Uh, this video was requested by many people. And if you have any questions or anything, post them in comments, follow me on Twitter. And if you like my video, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe for future videos.